Hello and welcome to Bitush Academy. Today I will build a .NET standard library with C Sharp, not with Visual Basic, and with the .NET as Core SDK in Visual Studio 2019, not 2017. So pretty much I'll create a class library solution following this tutorial. It will not be Visual Basic, it will be C Sharp. Then I would create tests. Pretty much the tests in the tutorial are in C Sharp, so I'll pretty much copy them. And at the end, I will consume it. So it would be really one really tiny, tiny application saying whether the string is uh, starting with a upper letter or not. So let's start. So in Visual Studio, we go to File, New Project, File, New Project. This is what we do. And we look for a blank solution, possibly in C Sharp, of course. We simply write blank solution. And this is it. And click Next. And the name of the solution would be Class Library Project. Then click Create. Let's see, solution, create a new solution, of course. Create. Wait a bit. And this is what we got. Pretty much empty solution, or with other words, completely nothing. Yes. So let's add some stuff. New project. What kind of project do we need? We need class library. Of course, the language is C sharp. Class library of the .NET standard. Just make sure that it's like this. Class library .NET standard C sharp. Click next and let's name the class library. It would be our string library. And click create. Wait a bit, and here it is appearing using system namespace thing, string library, and we even have like one class. That's great. So, uh, next thing that we need to do is to target the correct framework. How do we target the correct framework? Like this properties, string libraries, .NET standard 2.0. We can even upgrade to 2.1 or we can leave it to zero as it was the default. Yeah, this is how we do it. Perfect. Then close it here. And yeah, let's uh, write finally the code. That is the reason why this uh, library exists actually. So the code would be checking whether a specific string starts with an upper code or not. And it would be an extension method of the string class. So, uh, Using system is okay. Namespace. Let's change the namespace to utility. Libraries. And it will be public static class string library. Uh, static means that it should not be initialized. And public, it means it is available from everywhere almost. So. This public static class string library will be having public static bool starts with upper and it will be taking the string str. Yeah. So if string the big so the class is no or white space then simply return false so we take a convention that if the string is like looks like this it cannot start with a upper so it is false uh, and that's why it's returning so char char ch would be the first value of the string so pretty much first value is the this one it's not value it's pretty much the string is considered to be an array and the first thing in the array is this one so the first position of the array is this one so ch would be the in this case str0 of this a a s f d would be the big a 
and what we need to return at the end is whether the char is upper our ch. We can write these two lines into one line, like uh, you can say return char is upper and then take this little here. So we wouldn't need this one, but so far it looks okay. So let's build it. Build solution. Perfect. And let's continue with the test. So continuing with the test, we need to test our stuff. And how do we test stuff? Okay. We first think I forgot to do something. Uh, there is a convention that the file should be named exactly as the class in it. So string library, string library. We're following the convention. And now we need another project for the tests. It would be MS. Test, test project. Of course, C sharp, C sharp, .NET Core, .NET Core. Cool. Click next. And name it string library test. Click create. See what's going on. A lot of stuff. Pretty much Visual Studio test tooling, unit testing. Great. It's used already. We have our namespace, we have the test class, and we have even a pre built test method, which actually doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah. So, first thing to do is to add the string library to the as, as a dependency. So, this is how we do it. Solution string library. Okay. Great. Close this beautiful thing. And the second thing is to write some test methods, pretty much. So, these test methods will be using system. Uh, the unit testing and another one will be using this utility libraries which we were using from here yep. save and let's see in namespace is string library test that's okay test class stays like this and unit test one is perfect so let's write our first uh, test method it would be named uh, Test starts with upper. Great. And we simply put some words. It will be some array of words. And this is how it would look like. And what would be inside would be alphabet. Zulu IBC okay and then we can write even my name Gitosh. Yeah and it's written this is how I write it in Cyrillic and the name of my website in Cyrillic Yeah but they all start with upper letter okay then we put a for each, so for each var word in words, we simply say bool result equals word, and you see here the extension method starts with upper. It treats it as if it is a like string. So yeah, this is for the extension. Starts with upper and assert dot is true result and string dot string here is the class format expected for zero True actual one. 
these are the placeholders this is a placeholder the zero and the one and in this placeholder we will put word and result yeah so far so good I've just pressed Control S, and because of the Cyrillic alphabet here, it told me that some Unicode characters in this file could not be saved in the current code package. Do you want to resave the file as Unicode in order to maintain your data? Yes. Thank you. Uh, let's think how should we test it. Pretty much, this is the, not the way I know. Run all tests and wait a bit we see the test explorer coming and my computer needs some time okay to found the test and everything works okay we even get like a summary duration and everything is perfect yeah i can ask like uh, to repeat the test everything works okay or I can also test from here, run all tests. Perfect. Yeah. Or run. Yeah, it works. Uh, let's put a few more tests. Let's um, test something that doesn't stand with, start with upper. We'll call it public void. Test does not start with upper. And you know to inform to inform Visual Studio and the entity framework and everything else, the .NET framework, we should put test method here. And what do we write here? Doesn't start with upper. It would be the same string words, an array of words, which do not start with whopper. The easiest thing is to go co copy this. And to say okay, alphabet Zulu ABC. Okay, just dot com. Yeah, that's okay. And let's put something like fifty-five. Just to see what's happening. Same idea here. And what else can we put? Like we can put a dot. And we can put an empty space for each. Uh, I mean, how did I write so much? I wrote for each, then tap, tap again. So for each uh, vowel word in words, and it's not var, but it is actually a string word. It would work also as var, but it's okay if we explicitly say. What is it? So we we'll do the same bool result. The result starts with upper and we can copy paste a bit, but it should be result is false. Yeah. And now we see here that we actually have something new. So what we can do is actually go here and we can say run not run tests for example and here it knows that there is a new test which is not run it only runs it and yay it passed successfully and here we have even information about it and we can say okay let's say uh, run all tests again and it would give us also a green point for the previous one telling us what happened or it won't give it yeah whatever uh, the last test that we're going to build is a test giving uh, no or empty. So public void test giving no test with no or empty. Yeah. So nice test test method. I mean, everything should be tested. What should we say here? Uh, string words would be string empty and no, that's okay. And here for each word in words, 
And here it's a good idea to use var because no is not exactly a string and string empties. Okay, this is from the class string, but hmm, this is this can also be a string. Okay, let's still use var. And we say assert is false. Result assert is false, string format. Packet result for that is false. Actual one. And what is it? Here, if word is equal to no, then ternary operator. This is the ternary operator. It's no. Else word result. And here it's a good idea to cut it off so it's visible. Um, okay, let's run this test as well. Run all tests actually. And yeah, all tests running. So pretty much we can say that our class string library with methods starts with upper is actually tested. So yeah, let's uh, continue with uh, building it. Say release and this build solution, and go to the next part of the tutorial where we need to consume it. Okay. Uh, okay. After the build, the tests are not tested, but it's okay. I mean, the build didn't change anything, so. Oh, zero three passing on that's that's not looking good actually. I mean, after all, we have tests just to be fancy, so let's run it once again. Or no tests. And now, if we go here, we can say, Yeah, we have three passing tests of this. Yes, it looks fancy. Uh, now, add new project. Now, the implementation. We need a console application .NET Core with C Sharp, and we are going to name it Showcase. Yes, it's a good name. Showcase create, and what do we need in the Showcase? I mean, there are two ways to do it. We can do first way like this, and we can say set as a startup project, or the second way that I know was. Uh, what was it like? Properties, no, uh, solutions, properties, and from here setting the startup project somehow. Yes, let's say usually show up. It's like I usually say current selection because I'm solving something, but in this case, uh, in this case, it would be the short case. So it should be the one which is uh, startup project showcase. Yes the one which is going to be the one to start everything. So, uh, we need to add reference to the dependencies. We don't need a reference to the test because we're not going to call the test, but we need a reference to the string library, so we do it. And furthermore, program is not the best name, so we change it. and wait a bit until Visual Studio fixes it. Yeah, Visual Studio didn't fix it, I had to restart, it's probably something in my computer, but anyway, now I'm changing the class to be exactly with the same name as the file, and I would also delete the string arcs, because I somehow don't like them. I would remove also Hello World, and I will write now our program, uh, so it would start like this in row zero and do. This is do while uh, and here we would stop it. Uh, what would be do, what would we be doing in this do while is actually the following checking if the row is equal to zero or the row is 
big or equal to 25, we will be writing here reset console function. Here we press control dot and we simply say hey, I want to generate a method. It's simply private static. Okay, it will be reset console and it will be not implemented so far. And let's see, string input console.readline. So we are reading the input here. And then if string is nowhere empty, the input, then break and then console dot write one there is a fancier way to do it you simply write cw then two tabs and here we can say dollar sign input this input if we use this kind of uh, referencing then we say okay this is the input this is the input Mm, then begins with uppercase thirty column okay here plus the plus is used to concatenate the strings in C sharp and here we would say another variable in a way input dot uh, starts with upper it's strange input starts with upper wasn't recognized but if you press control dot it should be or it would be and here our beloved ternary operator this is the ternary operator. If it is true, it's yes. If it is not true, it is no. And a new line. Okay, starts with upper, somehow control dot. Mm, doesn't like a lot what I'm writing. row plus equals three why doesn't it like let's take a look to reset console first start up reset console mm, static void main everything looks quite okay i would say ah because of the new implement not implementing exception okay void row bigger than zero and I'll simply copy this from the tutorial don't want to write it press any key to continue else console clear and row row okay mm -hmm. of course it doesn't like the fact that the row is somehow not declared and to be honest this is because of this I guess now everything is declared everything is happy pretty much this void reset console is within the static main method when something like this happens shortcuts in Visual Studio for after for auto format are really uh, really good you can press press control KD and everything becomes really really nicely formatted uh, starts with upper is still unrecognized and it asks us to invert the condition wow did i make a mistake okay i'll simply copy and paste it again now it works okay starts with upper is still unrecognized uh, it is not recognized because we are missing the using 
and actually I'm try what I want to achieve is I want to press control dot and then I want it to ask me itself a do you want me to add using uh, utility libraries but in this case I'll probably have to write it myself yes let's try again control dot no utility libraries dot mm. String library. String library. Mm -hmm. I just changed the namespace. Let's see once again. No. Okay, so after some debugging I found a mistake. First of all, control dot wouldn't work because yeah, this is a custom library, but we put add reference and we refer it. Yeah, and then the control dot should work, but it's not feeling like anyway. Here is the time to put utility libraries. And yeah, now it works. You can say build solution in this building and we can press control f5 and it says the project with an output cannot be started directly which is kind of strange because i remember setting the project as a startup but probably it reset it itself somehow so control f5 and this is what we get Press enter only to exit, otherwise enter a string and press enter. Okay, let's try Vitosh. And it says Vitosh, input Vitosh begins with uppercase. Yes. We can put uh, Academy. Oh, okay. Enter. Mm -hmm. And I check, changed a bit of the code because there was some mistake with the local methods and everything but now it works so uh, if it is vitosh begins with uppercase yes and here we can say vitosh begins with uppercase no furthermore we can yeah we can play yeah and this time i pressed uh, enter faster as i was thinking but pretty much yes Thank you for watching, uh, subscribe and comment, yes, and that's all, and it begins with uppercase, bye bye.